Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games. Welcome to this evening's stream where uh, uh, I'm putting some far too bright stuff on the sides of this wonderful little MDF building. We'll have a uh, hydrate and a, and a super hydrate from Pete. There we go. Ah, hi everybody, uh, I can see Tony, Pete, John the Templar, Red Snail, hi, uh, hello everybody, apologies if I've missed anybody in the uh, in the scrolly up chat that I can't see. So what I'm doing right now is, so the building that we built last week, the uh, Sarissa uh, Alamo section, is... I'm applying some texture, surface texture stuff to it. So this is, uh, I'll just, what I'll do is I'll just finish this little side here and then I'll show you the pot that we are using. Uh, so I'm kind of like stippling it on to, because uh, if you just brush it on, it leaves a rubbish looking effect. So I'm just kind of stippling on with this scabby old brush. Just for uh, Wicked D, it's a bit of a horror brush. Um, but just stippling this on along the edge just to give it a nice bit of surface texture. So if I hold this one up, this is the base. Hopefully you can see that there and uh, get an idea of what this is going to look like. So that goes on there like that. And then, uh, and then I'll be painting uh, the whole thing with suitable colours once it's all dry. I'll just apply a bit more there. About there. Uh, Pete says, when does the sale end? End of the month, Pete. 31st uh, will be the last day of the sale. There we go. So something like that. And then once it's dried, it, it should look pretty cool. Uh, so, hi Hamish, how you doing? So the stuff that I'm using here is some Vallejo ground texture acrylic, and this is the white stone version. Uh, I thought it would be best if I used something that we uh, we had in the uh, in the store rather than uh, anything that we didn't. <laughs> so. Going to uh, going to apply a bit of this around, and uh, so what I'm going to do, I've, I've done all down this side, so I'm just going to do the inside of this hydrate pando. Oh, it's our little pet thing. That noise! Every time that noise goes off, it makes me jump. So uh, yeah, just going to do a little bit on the inside of this edge, on the top. So I'm going to paint the actual roof itself a, uh, a different colour put um, the inside of this wall edge and the top of the wall edge needs to be uh, textured on. So this is uh, this is really good. It's quite sloppy, this stuff. I don't know if you can see in the pot. It's not, well, well I'll say it's sloppy. It's very, um, almost like a gel, if you, if you like. It's, uh, it's different, different stuff. It's not gloopy. It's uh, it's very sticky, and, uh, and I got a couple of bits on my hands earlier on, and it has so far resisted washing off. So I uh, need to get the scrubbing brush out. So if you do use this stuff, try not to get it all over you. I'm sure it's only water based. It says it's acrylic, so it must just be very thick. Hi, look God, look God, eighty four. Hello there. A wig me. Yeah. A yeah. wig me. I've just. Uh, oh no, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. I've just. Uh, I've just textured, painted my painting light. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> wig me. What wig shall we go for? 
one that's not going to melt my head. Hopefully. There's the heating turned on in there. It's super warm. No, it's <laughs> your uh, your welcome, welcome look, look God. No heating. We had the heating on since it all went up. <laughs> Hello. There's a there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. Are you coming in? Get your face on the camera. Yes. A, well, a hello. <laughs> hello. Can uh, can everybody see uh, the MLG pup? Ah, right then. Let's get uh, let's get some more of this on. So just gonna carry on with the same thing. A little bit of stipple action. What's everybody been up to today? Hope you've all had great days. It's uh, it's been a bit of a strange day again at MLG. It was very very quiet this morning in town, and uh, yeah, a bit a bit odd, really. We uh, had some some holiday makers in first thing this morning when we opened. And uh, they'd travelled all the way from Blackpool, so I think by the sound of it, they'd, they'd set off very, very early this morning. They just got to town, and uh, and couldn't check into their accommodation yet. So they were out hunting for breakfast, and uh, decided to come in and get some Pokemon while they were out, which is pretty cool. Oh, Pete says he's been at work. <coughs> Good God says just got home from work. Pete says he's got an original signed note from Hamish for sale if anyone's interested. I said we had one too, but apparently, apparently Pete's is better. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't play fetch gears. Oh, and then there's a the Pokemon. If you want to play the Pokemon game, you can. There's a wild Pokemon in chat, so you can like poke catch in chat for the Pokemon game. If you don't know what the Pokemon game is, you're just gonna have to oh, wait. Oh, I, I probably had to own that ball. Fair enough. Then <laughs> <laughs> if you scroll further down under underneath uh, the video where all the information about us is, there's a Pokemon community game down there. And you can join in. Oh God, this, says, this could be the first one I catch. Yeah, I bet it's more difficult for you uh, in your streams to try and catch your own Pokemon, isn't it? To try and type it in. See, we have it easy because it's two, two of us. Two of us. I, I actually had a Pokemon battle with, oh, right. with Veeman. Lost horrendously. But um, how, how does that work? I don't know because <laughs> he set it up and I just followed his instruction. So I'm not entirely sure. I can't see the dashboard on my screen. Because I have the <clears throat> streamer view, so I can't see it. Uh, but you can battle each other in all sorts of malarkey. Awesome. We've got, so we've got a Pokemon community game. We've got Pando, the MLG community pet that you can feed with your uh, Lancer rewards. You can use bits, but you don't have to. Lancer rewards, and that's a bit like a Tamagotchi to feed it and take care of it, etc. And then also we have the stream loot cards. To make us do even more silly things, and then we have the normal um, answer reward points. Answer reward points to make him wear a wig and do all the daft stuff like that. So who got that one then? Tony and oh, Goblin Square got one! Yay! Pete says it's fixed. Tony says did a bit more on my cane wraith and gloss coated my marines as a save game before I slap on chipping medium and then paint them properly before messing them up they're, they're going to be stark craft marines and not 40k marines cool so there you go uh, Goblin Square says boom Pokemon cart <laughs> so apparently I didn't have the right ball but I, I don't know so. and then once you get six you can put them in your team and then you can battle each other um, apparently. So there you go. Uh, Hamish made a start on my contribution for the great MLG brush off for this month. Awesome. Are you telling us what, uh, are you telling us what it is or is it a big secret? The great MLG brush off theme for this month is sci fi slash aliens. Uh, and you can find more information on Discord about that. That was uh, that was very dynamic, my darling. Slash. 
to say it like that. There's a slash. It's just, it's the rules. It's it's the way it goes. That's what happens. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. And as well, then there's more information on uh, Hamish's Goblin Inspiration in there as well. And we also have a channel for the Reaper Channel, Reaper Challenge League. So all sorts of stuff going on in there. Yeah. We've got a couple of new members recently. I want to join in with the uh, Brush Off and Goblin Inspiration. So that's always Excellent. cool. Uh, Amos, I don't have many sci-fi minis to be honest, but I've got a 40k dude on the camera. Is it a proper dude as well? Is he like, dude? Has he lost his car and everything? <laughs> uh, I can't remember how long it's been since I've watched that. Dude, where's my car? What is it they've got tattooed on them? Dude and sweet or something like that. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been ages since I've seen it. Pieces. I'm still building planes. Not had much time recently. Yeah. All all work and no planes makes Pete a sad boy. Hey. Uh, so what? What are you doing? Uh, are you just painting white for the entire stream? No, I'm not going to do it for the entire stream. I'm just. I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the roof. I'm going to finish the uh, finish this bit of roof, and then I'll get on to painting something else because I don't want you all to be bored of me just like blowing white onto this thing for uh, for an hour. So we'll we'll get on to actually putting some paint on something, shall we? But I'll just finish these bits and then we'll paint something else. I've got a couple of orcs around here that we can uh, we can do a bit on. Have you finished your MLG brush up? Actually, that's a better idea. I'll yeah. finish yeah, my yeah, MLG. Finish I'll finish my MLG brush off mini. So, so it is virtually finished. I need to do its base. What are you doing for Goblin Inspiration? What's the theme for Goblin Inspiration? Hell, I've told that twenty times. We've told you. <laughs> I was just, was I was just, I was just because we hadn't mentioned the theme of Fair Goblin. It was like you, it was like you ridiculous leap. It, it was my prompt. <laughs> oh my it was dear! My, it was my oh prompt. my dear! Little Miss started started doing something, but she's wandered off, and I don't know if she's going to get it finished in time. Because she started it at, at Grandma's, so it's not here for me to go. Uh, Are you going to finish that then? <laughs> I see. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't. So uh, I need to pull my finger out yeah. and get something done. What uh, what kind of thing are you thinking? What what hell themed thing are you thinking? I think I've done mine. I'm fairly sure I've done mine. <laughs> yeah, I think you've done yours. I think I've done mine. Um, what are you thinking? Well, I was thinking of maybe some kind of devil or something, or a, or a demon. Right. Um, the dog's got your feather out with your pirate hat. Yeah. <sighs> Pain in the backside, dog. Yeah, he's already had your ostrich feather out of your. My um, my peacock feather. This this feather's quite old, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's not white anymore. It's pretty manky now. Yeah. How uh, how old's yours? Uh, it's probably getting on for twenty years old, if not. Maybe be a little bit more. Well, you've been looking after it for 20 years and the dog eats it. Yep. That's good, isn't it? Hi, Grim Hammerhand. How are you doing? We were just talking about the great MLG brush off and Goblin Inspiration. Uh, awesome mini. Oh, well, actually, ours is a mini painting incentive, and Goblin Inspiration is anything, just an art. You can do any art on the theme for Goblin Inspiration. There's more details about it in Discord. So, uh, Lots of fun to be had, lots of hobbying together. Mr. MLG is currently wearing a wig because uh, I think it was Tony. Yes, Tony used wig me. Uh, that, maybe that was definitely more than a minute ago. It was 10 minutes ago, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no one else is going to tell you. And um, we have Pando, the MLG community pet that you can feed and stuff. Pete says you've got to hydrate now because, you know, you're obviously going to need hydrating after having that wig on. Yep, definitely. And I uh, and I brought extra fluids. You did, you did. Right, there we go. I need to put this to one side to dry. 
for a bit. But basically, you uh, you can see what what uh, what the plan is with this. I should imagine, or I hope. So uh, that bit just there needs a bit more. So this is kind of like. plaster work if you like on the outside of this building and then we'll just to kind of hide the fact that it's an MDF kit that was uh, that's my thinking Tony says I'm liking this Nathan I bet with a thinned wash or two to muck it up this will look awesome that's uh, that's the plan just make it look a bit dirty and then I'm going to put some uh, sand and stuff around the base to make it uh, a multi-purpose kit Multi-purpose piece of terrain. We use it for all sorts of stuff in the shop. There's uh, definitely some interest in some kind of cowboy gunfightery type games, and uh, it could easily double up as a piece of sci-fi terrain for a low-tech world, or uh, or fantasy terrain for any kind of setting. So it's. Uh, Perfect. It might even be if it if it turns out like I've kind of got in my mind, it might be the first of a few that's uh, in the same kind of vein because it's supposed to be modular and uh, and locked together. So oh, I've got myself carried away now. I said I was going to uh, move on to something else, but we'll just get this get a bit whacked around these because uh, this might take a couple of layers to hide the fact that there's can multiple, multiple pieces, pieces of MDF here. Yeah. Can we just uh, show Grimhammer what, uh, what we're using? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Looks like Tipex on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite thick uh, stuff. It is uh, Vallejo Ground Texture Acrylic and this is the white stone variant. So this comes in a 200ml tub, quite a hefty tub and uh, I've only just started using it this evening. And uh, it is currently from MLG seven pound fifty for one of these types of uh, tub. Now this stuff is perfect for using on basin for miniatures. It's supposed to be ground texture. Obviously, I'm using it on a wall, but uh, yeah, it's perfect to use as basin texture on a mini. And uh, is significantly better value for money than uh, some other texture type paints that uh, various manufacturers make that are about five pound or four pound something for 24 milliliters of product uh, and Vallejo do make some absolutely fantastic ones in this range some of them there's some muds and things some of them are slightly more expensive um, than others they do some great water effects in this range as well so uh, head on over to Mighty Lancer Games and possibly uh, check these out. They're really great. We tend not to carry huge amounts of them in stock, but we normally do have most of them in stock. If our distributors have them, we have them. So uh, yeah, some, some great basin alternatives out there rather than just using like certain companies' stuff. Grimhammer says, my favourite brand for paints, that, um, in our massive sale that's currently running, there is some of the Vallejo paints as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is, there is. I spotted that today, actually. <laughs> I love the way you've done the sale and you're not quite sure what's in it. Yeah, well, not, because, because we added so many items, we had certain criteria of, of which we kind of blanket added a few items, you see. Uh, and then there was other specific stuff that we said, yeah, we should put that in the cell. Yeah, we should put that in the cell. So. It's, yeah, uh, and it ends, it's been, it it's ends been really good. at the end of this month. So uh, pick up your bargains yeah. while the sale's on. I mean, we still have bargain prices all year round anyway, but this is like super special sale. We don't normally do sales, no. but we thought everybody's... Uh, Everybody's feeling the pinch at the minute. Let's try and help the hobbyists out by uh, by having a sale. So we have. <laughs> right. Just do this little bit here where the uh, the MDF is layered up. I'll just try and disguise that a bit because it's going to take a couple of coats. This stuff is uh, is 
quite gloopy. Uh, I don't know how to describe its texture. Gloopy is maybe not the right word. It's thick, but it's very easy to get brush marks in it. So that's why I'm trying to stipple it on. But in areas such as this, there's three layers of 2mm MDF uh, layered up here on this thicker piece of wall. So to try and hide that MDF layering, which you can see here, hopefully, these three pieces of MDF. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just going to get a couple of coats of this stuff on. So I'm going to apply it quite thickly to start off with, and then do that stippling in. Get it on. Pete says, "Do we have a Lancaster on sale? All our Lancasters are sold out. Pete, you missed them." Got to be in there super quick. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid to say that it, some like, items in the sale will not be coming back. And uh, and the other thing is that uh, if it's in the sale, it won't be restocked at the sale price. So uh, if uh, if you're thinking about buying something. You uh, you need to you need to grab it while it's still available at the cheaper price, because uh, when things come back into stock, it will be not the sale prices, I'm afraid. And that's and that's if they come back into stock, because not everything will be uh, restocked as we uh, as we reinvest our our funds into new and exciting product ranges. That fell off, that did. <laughs> that fell off. There's a, there's a big crevice there. Let's get some uh, get some thick splodging oh, stuff po Pokemon, in Pokemon, get your Pokeballs ready. If you're catching the Pokemon. I think I might have run out of Pokeballs. Yeah, and then and then is it one of these things where you have to go to the shop and purchase them? Can yeah. you purchase them with channel points? You can purchase them with the the pokey money thing. Yeah, we haven't spent any real money. Yeah. I'm sure you can spend real money, but yeah, we haven't spent any real money. We we don't like spending real money. Is it? Um, so when you've caught a Pokemon, you can sell your Pokemon. Yeah, in the poker shop and then use that money to buy poker balls. Oh, I oh, hi, uh, Pete, a high drink. Sorry, Pete. I'll have two just for uh, forgetting. That's why I brought extra, because I knew I'd uh, knew I'd need it. Have I missed any other bits where there is an overlap between the pieces? There, let's get that bit on there. So, up oh, there. Ah, oh, Tony's caught it. Cutie fly. Oh, that sounds quite sweet. So, uh, you've caught that, Tony. Well done. Awesome. He's going to say it's a fix again because didn't catch it. I, I, I haven't caught any Pokemon. It was because you haven't played. No, need to, need to get involved. Talking about Pokemon, uh, don't forget that Pikachu is at the shop on the 31st, along with uh, Demis the MLG Dragon, who was named by Little Miss. Uh, I don't know why it's called that. <laughs> after, she, after she named it, she still couldn't tell me why she called it Demis. It all stems from um, we were raising some money for MNDA uh, a few good good few years ago now, and she painted a dragon money box to collect the money in, and that's what she that's what she called it. So yeah, yeah, yeah do you figure on? Yeah. So um, Pikachu and and Demis will be at the shop on the 31st. It's not for charity or anything, it's just uh, so 
kids and adults can come down and have their picture taken with the uh, with the mascots and uh, just a bit of family fun really nothing else nothing more to it than that we won't have collection buckets or anything like that don't worry you can just walk past and have your picture and walk away <laughs> No problem, Tony. No problem. Oh. Ah, yes. No, no bother. Moxie in the house. Hey, Moxie. How are you doing? How's how's work going? Have you, man have you finished or are you still working hard? Well, you've been working away, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I recall. I don't want to get it on my fingers again. I, you were playing else a I, ago. I am, I am. I just, I'm just, just, I keep getting carried away. I'm trying to, uh, trying to do these edges. Right, let's, uh, let's clean our brush off. Ah, big cheer for Moxie's finished! Yay! Yay! Back home now. Woohoo! Right, drop that on there. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with it so far. Let's just uh, smear those bits around. Made that a bit thick on there. And then I'm gonna stop messing with it and we're gonna uh, paint the base on my lictor. So it's a uh, cool product, ground texture that we've been using. It's pretty, uh, pretty good gear. suitable bit of tissue. So. Funnily enough, this is a Vallejo brush as well. I was using a Vallejo dry brush. Can't remember where that came from. <laughs> Must have come out of a set or something at some point. Right. <laughs> so, here is our brush off mini. This is my uh, Tyranid Lictor. We're not going overly mad with him because he's supposed to be like a I super sneaky. I better turn the brightness yeah. back up now you're not painting white. Yes. Because that's yeah. currently just a black block. And Pete says, hi Drew. Ah, there we go, hydrate. Right then, so we'll use this palette. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. You can dance with your dad. What's he doing? Then? paint my tyranid let's see don't eat me badge right <laughs> so what we're going to use is um the, ah what we're going to use is some um, uh, army painter gun metal and what i'm going to do i'm going to paint this into the recesses on the base so uh, a little bit of that and then i'm going to find a suitable uh, brush here somewhere. Have I got a suitable brush? Uh, come on, where are they all? Here we go. So this is... Nope. I can't play. I can't play on painting. <laughs> yep. Are you just gonna like stay there while I try and paint this thing? <laughs> that tickles. Right, so uh, we <laughs> come on, dog. We've got some uh, some 
Army Painter Gun Metal, and I'm going to use that for the give of it. <laughs> use that for the recessed areas on the base. And uh, so this is a Sector Mechanicus base from Games Workshop. You uh, you can get these in a box that I think has about 60 bases in. This is a 40 mil version. And uh, what these are are uh, industrial like kind of um, industrial bases where they're obviously like parts of platforms or whatever. And this one in particular has got pipework and stuff in the base. No, just uh, was glancing over my lovely, see what you were up to. Cheryl. Uh, yeah, so we're just a bit of this gunmetal into there for the uh, recessed areas. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the higher, uh, the, the surface of the thing over the top of that with uh, some brighter colours like I have done on some of my other minis that I've based on these style of bases. So there's some cabling and some other bits and pieces in here. So what we'll do is we'll pick all of that out, we'll paint the top section and then uh, with a thing and then we'll whack a nice dirty rusty wash over a lot of it. So, uh, so it all kind of looks like suitably ruinous uh, industrial kind of stuff going on. There's a big bolt there that, that clearly should have been metal at some point in its life before it turned into uh, the rust that we're going to give it later on. Uh, and then all these are the little bolts, we won't worry about those too much, they can be painted uh, in the standard colours. Right. So we'll just have to give that a minute while it dries before we start trying to put anything else over the top of it. So while I've got this gun metal out, I'm going to use... Get off! Gives me I was trying to nick my feather again. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uh, this other brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of this gun metal. In fact, I'm not going to use that brush straight away. Uh, to my orcs. So I've got some orcs here. I've also got to use uh, do the axes on this orc here. So I might as well, as soon as I've squeezed out a bit too much paint like normal, I'm going to use it up on some of these guys. So let's get... Uh, Let's get a dry brush first and put a bit on these axes. On the, so this chap is going to be, you might have seen him on a previous stream. So this chap is the uh, more crusher riding version of this chap on the base. And uh, I just need to lighten the axes up a little bit after I've washed them previously. So I'm going to get a bit of gun metal on our dry brush here and then we're just going to apply that just lightly to the edge of his axe so it looks as if he's been chopping some fools up I don't know whether to do a bit of blood splatter on it, I don't want to make it like too much so uh, Just want it to look used. Don't know what he's up to, this dog. Just stalking around behind me. So something like that, and then we'll do the same on this chap. So he matches in. Oh, I'm 
foxes feeding panda i think like uh, like a tamagotchi type thing we can like level him up and stuff and he changes color when he's leveled up and things like that awesome so there's also going to be a challenge aspect to him where you can play rock paper scissors with him but it's currently not working so moxie treated panda and pete says that you should have an idea you're all covered in dog hair now. Is that all going in your paint? No, no, not yet. <laughs> right, so we're going to use this uh, this old brush that I've got here. So if you, eagle-eyed viewers may recall that this is one of the first ever brushes that I was using on stream. Used this for a long time. This is my uh, Kalinsky Green Stuff World um, standard detail brush that unfortunately they've stopped making um, in favor of the silver golden green series brushes uh, but it still gets a little roll out every once in a while the uh, hi wicked day so this guy is the standard more crusher rider mini from uh, the more crusher kit so this is the rider for our pink more crusher that uh, i painted a little while ago but he's not going to have pink armor he's going to have uh, he's going to have orange armor like the rest of my orcs so, uh, let's get some of this on here. So for all the other orcs, I didn't use army painted gunmetal. Uh, I used dark star old silver. Um, so this guy might turn out looking ever so slightly different, but we'll see, because I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure. It's been a while since I've used this gunmetal. It just so happened that I'd had it out for uh, a different Pokemon project. In chat, Pokemon in chat. Wicked Dean wants you to put a wig on. And there's a wild Pokemon y thing. Use Poke Catch to catch it. Oh, Wicked Dean needs some new balls. And Tony would like you to put a hat on. So a wig and a hat, my dear. Okay. Wig and a hat. Uh, no, no I, can't, I can't wear that one, it's too small. Ah. Uh, come on, find a hat. Find a hat. That one. That's the one. We'll wear, we'll wear my uh, fedora. <laughs> can't see it, can you? I've definitely got a hat on, guys. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think this hair and this hat uh, looks quite dashing on me. It certainly looks something on you. What are you doing under there, dog? The dog is trying to do something underneath my desk. I don't know if one of his toys is stuck under there or something. Tony and Wicked D catch the Pokemon. Tony's doing really well. Yeah. You know, there'll be battles all round soon. Yeah, yeah. Once you've got a team of six, you can get battling. Battling. Right, so I've done the back end of that. I've done... There's a little bit of chainy mail there. Let's do the back side of the chain mail. In there. We'll do this other axe. So yeah, this uh, this guy is going to be our more crusher rider. I need some more tufts. I've got some tufts, and then uh, I've ended up having to. We had a customer that really, really needed some tufts. Let them have the tufts that I had selected for my more crusher. So I'm going to have to order some more tufts now. 
to uh, to be able to finish my more crushers bases because uh, the customer's need was greater than my own so we'll uh, it's something uh, it's something in the dashboard wicked d it's not in chat so if you go to your dashboard underneath our video you have to make your team put your put your pokemon in your team and then it's something to do with the cross swords you do it all you do it all down there in the dashboard but honestly i don't know how i had a i had a pokemon battle with beeman but he did he sorted it all out and he just told me what to do <laughs> but uh, yeah it's something, it's something down there something down there in the dashboardy thing to make care uh, for your battle and then you can pick someone who's got the same amount and then you play the battle in that little dashboard square down there as well and you can uh, it's quite cool you can like you can see yourself getting defeated <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry I could see myself getting defeated you have to pick the commands and stuff it is quite cool once you get to that stage I know you can work it out because you're a tech whiz And a Pokemon whiz. Two, the two things combined, you should be uh, should be smashing it wickedly. So, just gonna get this chain done. He's got a uh, he's got a chain hanging off his like belt here, which is what fastens him on to the more crusher. So we'll get that done with a bit of this. Bolt gun metal, not bolt gun metal, gun metal. Um, oh, I had a customer come in today who asked for uh, Screaming Skull paint, which uh, GW we haven't made for a long, long time, but that uh, that brought back some nostalgia. Screaming Skull. I think it's Screaming Skull that they haven't made, unless they uh, maybe they, maybe they do still make Screaming Skull. Actually, on reflection, maybe I've just said something really silly. What did you say to the customer? Uh, we found him a um, found him a, a, a Vallejo color that was like really really similar. But now I'm now I'm thinking I've just had a thought that maybe there is a screaming skull still in the GW range. I can't remember now. I don't know. All my uh, all my product knowledge is disappearing out of my brain. Oh, according to our own website, we've got the Lair Citadel paint screaming skull in stock. So yeah, yeah. Well done there. Well done. So, <laughs> sorry, customer. <laughs> what are you like? It's the lack of hydrating paint says. That's what's doing it. Lack yeah. of hydrating. Clearly. So Pete says you've got to hydrate. That's, uh, that's obviously that's, that's, that's fair, fair enough. And it, and you've got proper water, not not no beer or anything. Mm -hmm. I know. I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop drinking beer for a little while and see if I sleep better. That's not the first time that you've said that. <laughs> you, to, to be able to sleep properly, you need to actually come to bed and not just keep working. Oh, Tony's treated and hydrated panda. He'll be uh, he'll be well happy. Wowzers! Can hear Look loads at his of little fish. Can hear loads of little alarms and things going. Oh, he looks super super happy, doesn't he? There, little panda. Has he always been that kind of greeny bluey colour? There's some big nails through this, I've just realised. Some big nails holding these things on. Some blades there. It's uh, strange, this like trophy rack on the top of the guy here. It's got some... It's got blades and horns and other stuff like just tacked on it.
Right, so this this side of this thing on the top of his head is a horn, but that one on that side is a blade. There's some big nails there. We'll paint those in with the metal. I'm being a little bit rough here, and uh, should really tidy this up a little. What else has he got? Oh, just not the not the lamp. I'll we'll see. Oh, he's got a blade on that side. Let's we'll get that done. He's got like weird kind of bladed spurs on the side of his boots. Uh, what else? What have I missed? Anything on that? Axe, that's got not got a metal end cap on there. Oh, there's some little uh, little bladey bits on the back of the side of those. Let's get them on. I'll just uh, finish this and take my hat off. <laughs> Grimhammer says, Wig me! <laughs> Must have heard you were just about uh, to take your wig off, you see. I've got a different wig on. What, what, what wig are you going to pick now? <laughs> Red wig. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. And he even brings it round to the front just to show it off completely. Well, you yeah. need to be able to see it, don't you? Uh... Yeah, totally, yeah. You will get your nose out of that box. The uh, the puppy is just investigating the hat box. Yes, right then. So I think that's uh, I think that's enough metal. I think what we're going to do is move on to <laughs> move on to a little bit of orange. Oh, excuse me, disgusting boy. Right then, so somewhere here I've got my burning orange. No, nope, that's suntan flesh, that is not it. Burning orange, here we go. Tony says I look like Roy Wood with a perm. So we're not going to use that brush. I'm not going to carry on using the uh, the, the rubbish brush. I'm going to go to my standard, my uh, Rosemary & Co. Series 22. Uh, and then... You, you can. I'll, uh, I shall, shall even unblock it for you. There you go. Let's get some uh, some orange on this guy. Now, now, conveniently, I was intending on using some orange on the base for the Tyranid. So uh, this is handy having it on the palette. Customers wrong information. What else have you been up to today? That's very bright, aren't you? What, 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 uh, what base are you putting that over? Uh, this is undercoat. Oh, I've just gone on the skin. No. Uh, this is a matte black primer uh, undercoat. This is matte black from the Colour Forge, which is. Uh, my current go-to black undercoat spray because I like it. It's a, a nice actual matte finish rather than uh, the kind of satin that you see from some other manufacturers. Uh, and this is Burning Orange from Reaper that I'm using here as the base coat. So the reason that I like this, this is one of the HD paints that they used to make that have now been kind of re-rebranded into the Bones range of paints. Um, but it's got really good coverage. 
So one coat over black looks pretty good. Uh, two coats over black looks absolutely fantastic. So two thin coats, two thin coats. Orange and uh, yellow are notoriously difficult colours to get good coverage. Anyway. Right, so orange shoulder pads. This large plate is going to remain black. So nice orange shoulders and he's going to have some orange uh, on his like wrist guards. Wiki D has played a battle in the uh, Pokemon community game. Oh yeah. Uh, and lost, so we won't say too much about that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to uh, we'll have to check this this thing out. See how it works. Battling. Although I don't have uh, I don't have very good luck with uh, streaming, not streaming, watching other people's streams. I can never uh, never really manage to to get onto other people's streams. Generally, we watch on our Mighty Lancer account, but Mrs. Uh, Mrs. MLG is in control of that one. Aren't you? Why would Pokemon in chat? <laughs> And I'm always too busy when I'm uh, at the shop, really. Right, let's have some nice orange wrist guards. And then we'll leave that. It's got like a black additional armor plate. So we'll leave that black. Um, and then that will give a nice break in the color. What's going on here? It's got a, uh, it's got all sorts of little extras stuck on. There's a, there's a ring, presumably for his weapon to attach to if he needs it. On there. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, ah <laughs> oh dear, just remembered uh, our our last year's holiday to the old Butlins on the. Uh, how are you feeling, Crabulous. Uh, yeah, sorry everybody. <laughs> just pop back into my head. You currently have a cheese wedge floating across your face, and I think it probably uh, is, a, is timed quite right for that random conversation that you've just had <laughs> with yourself. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, get a bit more orange around these bits. He's got uh, he's got like spikes coming under his wrists. They're part of his arm guard. Just on there. Oh, what is going on? I uh, I keep nearly dropping the mini 
because my hand is uh, just decided that that might be a good time to not grip anymore. And it and it rolled out with my hand. Are you getting old? Is it time uh, for me to trade you yeah, in? I think, yeah, yeah I, think I think so. so. I'm going to start advertising. New Mr. MLG needed. Because he says, do it, do a dance. And Pete wants you to hydrate. some glow sticks <laughs> when, when that's on. <sighs> You've got to hydrate. Uh, yes. Now I'm burning big guns on you. Mm. Yep. Orange and uh, orange and mango juice. Oh, out the cupboard. We've got like concentrate stuff in the cupboard. It's not particularly hidden, but it is behind the uh, all little Mrs. Juice. Mm. Well, you've got two minutes, don't you? Well, we've got two minutes, so what we're going to tell you about. So tomorrow night, uh, we're streaming again, Two Paint Tuesday. And uh, you'll be able to see what Mrs. MLG is working oh, on. I've got nothing, so I'm, I'm not going to bother. No. no. That's, That's not, not acceptable. <laughs> People come because they want to see you no, paint. No, they don't. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. Anyway, so two paint Tuesday uh, tomorrow. I am going to uh, work on some... Uh, surprise minis, I think. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as surprise. I might randomly determine what I'm gonna uh, work on. That, that in really the helps me advertising the fact that the stream's happening. Thanks a lot. I know. Well, I'll tell you in the morning, and then you're able to advertise. But I need to, I need to see where I'm up to with some of my things. See what I need to get done. So uh, we'll let you know tomorrow what we're gonna be painting. Uh, but yeah. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. And then Wednesday, 8 p.m. We, oh, I just, just can't believe I've just done that. Just painted the edge of his axe orange. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, right, so he's looking his knee guards, shoulders. Thing is, oh, his, uh, his chest plate needs to be orange, doesn't it? So he's got similar equipment to these guys. So his chest plate... And then his, uh, his weird kind of like cod piece bit going on just in there. So let's do a bit on that as well. It's got some leather straps going on around this chest piece as well. So I'll try not to paint those in orange. Um, cool. You have to do that. You have to do it without singing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> so, uh, zombie shark. So, how is your terrain looking then that you were supposed to be painting? Are you showing us how it looks like now? Yeah, yeah, I will do. Let me uh, let me just finish the edge of this piece of armor and I will show it off see what it's like now it's dried I can't believe how long it's taken me to paint these orcs no, no, <laughs> I've been working on this uh, this army for ages So before we end the uh, end the stream, let's just have a quick look. Move the big boss axe chopper out of the way. So now it's dried a little. It's uh, dry to the touch. Yep, dry to the touch. 
Uh, and I think it looks pretty cool, actually. So it's uh, it's going to get sand on the base, a, a different colour on the on the top here. Uh, might have some very fine sand as the as the top surface there, but the walls are looking pretty great. Now then, I need to pull that off so it doesn't like stick itself on, uh, but it still needs to be removable. So you see in a couple of places where uh, where I've gone over where the joints are, Thanks, you might be able to see where the joints are on the on the kit. So they'll get another coat just to make sure that they're not overly visible because uh, we want to hide the fact that it's a MDF kit. Super. So pretty happy with how that's coming out. So after the stream finishes, I uh, I will finish doing the rest of the rest of the uh, stipply stuff on that so, and then we can show you how that's looking tomorrow I'm um, uh, just going to finish painting the orange on this guy's clod piece armor thing <laughs> I don't know if orcs are uh, if orcs are fungus do they need to protect that area <laughs> who knows so uh, thanks everybody for joining us this evening uh, hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed the stream. Hope you found it useful, and uh, hope you will join no, us. Useful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seeing what the uh, the Vallejo paint stuff's like, oh. and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll join us tomorrow evening. Hopefully you'll join us tomorrow evening at uh, seven p.m. for Two Paint Tuesday, and see Mrs. MLG and I both painting something tomorrow. So. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks very much.